Good afternoon, and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode, episode number 918, so there's a few out there before this. I'll tell you all about the links for replays at the end of the broadcast, so no need to rush ahead. Um, I am, let me see, episode 918. The topic today is how living in the present can help you better plan your future. And this is actually a part two from yesterday, which I'll recap in a moment. Uh, before I do that, I'll introduce myself so you know who I am and why I do this every day. My name is Barry Selby. I'm an inspirational I'll try that again. I am an inspirational speaker. <laughs> when I can articulate clearly. Um, I'm a spiritual guide, which this is more relevant to. Um, and also a relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, but for singles and couples, men and women, highly recommend it. And being a coach for women is because I'm a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. That's what informs my work and also what started these talks three years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. Today we're episode number 918, 918, and I've been talking about spiritual stuff recently because it's been very much in my awareness, I guess I'd put it. And yesterday I did a talk about, um, well, I, I captioned it um, like there's no time like the present, which is a quote, but it's also a fact because there is no time like the present. The present moment is the only thing going on. And how I said basically it's a great practice to do slash be. But today I want to speak about how being the present is beneficial to your future so you can plan ahead a different way. And I'm going to frame this a little bit by prefacing it with this context. There's a lot of people I know, maybe not you, but maybe somebody you know, spend a lot of time living in the past, painfully so, or living in a fear of the future they don't want to have. Now, some people have this thing about, well, I'm going to have a great future, I'm going to have a great future. But the problem with that is, it's still putting things outside your reach. Actually, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let me back it up a little bit. There are people who dread the future, because they're just, what they've been going through in their life has been so bad in the past, they think the future is going to be more of the same. I hope you're not dealing with that. Also, people who want to create the future, a lot of times they're spending their time going, when I get there, it's going to be great. When I get there, it's going to be great. But you notice they're pointing somewhere else rather than where they are. Which why I'm going to go back to and emphasize this point about being in the present is the best way to plan your future. Because in the present moment, you have domain over time itself. It's going to sound woo-woo, I know. But I'm speaking from a point of view of actual facts of life. And I did, again, watch this, I just talk for more detail, but the, the, this not, the, the Cliff Notes version is this. If you think about when, when you're going through life, even if you were thinking about what you were doing this morning, what happened this morning wasn't in the past when you were there, you were in it. You were in the present moment this morning, when you had breakfast, when you drove to work, when you were going to run errands, and right now watching this, you're in the present moment. Every single time you can think of in the past was a present moment you were in at that time. So there is no time like the present in simple terms, and it is a great place to plan from because you can't plan from anywhere else. See, so gotcha, that one. The only time you can plan anything is right here, right now. Now, that right here, right now might be now, or it might be in a few minutes, or a few seconds, or tomorrow, or next week. You can basically start your planning for the future anytime you want when you're in the moment. Again, the movement moves with you through the time, or I should say, when we put it, the, movement stays where, the moment stays where it is, time moves past you. Play with that idea for a minute. That'll get you blowing your mind. I have an interesting relationship with time. I've been having some conversations about this recently, so I want to speak about it in this, this term because I want to help you understand how you can create your future the right way. So first of all, as I mentioned yesterday and today, being in the present moment is the only choice you have. <laughs> you can pretend to live in the past or the future, but the reality is the only place you can live in is the present moment because it's the only time that is. And I, I mean, I don't know how I can make it more emphatic than that. That's the truth. So when you understand this is the way it is, you have freedom. Yes, you have freedom. It's when you start trying to fight against it and do other things where you get stuck and you get limited. So to create your vision of the future, my, my encouragement to you is to own being in the present moment first. So you start with the present moment, and yes, I'm going to speak about actually... Sorry, I'm just thinking about... I'm, I'm talking about the future now. I might have to do a talk tomorrow about the past. I'm raising that, so there's another piece coming up. That's going to be for tomorrow. Okay. Excuse me while I channel. <laughs> it's tough to up that way. So, future focus. You're in the present moment. You want to create a new future. 
So, how do I how say that? <laughs> Excuse the pauses, I'm just sort of seeing what's coming through. All right, I'll use an example. For the ladies, I have a course, one of my signature courses actually is called Attract the Man You Want, which is a course to help women who are single, attract a vision, manifest what they want in a relationship. Part of that process in the journey is they, I call it, I mean, it's an NLP, in NLP, they call it future pacing. I just call it um, future visioning, I think is what I would call it in the, in, the, in the course. What it is, though, is a chance for women who are creating the vision, which they go through several steps. It's an eight module course. They've built a vision they really feel good about. And then I have, the, then I walk them in my, in my course into the future where that actually manifests. Now, it isn't future, it isn't projecting into the future. Excuse me, it's imagining you're in the future, experiencing it in the now. And this is the thing. If you want to create a vision of future that works for you, you've got to be doing it in the present moment. And you can take the present moment with you. This is the funny part. Is that future moment I'm talking about in my course is where the woman doing the course will go through and taking the vision with her will imagine herself in a moment of time which is real to her in that moment, so it is the present moment for her, experiencing what she wants to have happen. It creates a visceral experience that gets embedded, and that's why it's so powerful. It really is about attracting what she wants. That's why it's called Attract the Man You Want, the name of the course. So the piece I want to give you is the teaching point here is that you can do the same thing in any area of your life, for anything in your life, if you're willing to do the embodiment practice of taking what you want in the future into the now. Literally, figuratively, specifically, is if you have a vision about a new career you want to explore, for example, is in the present moment, imagine it already happening. In the present moment, feel into what it feels like to have that job, to have that income, to have that experience, to be traveling to this office or whatever that is for you. If it's a new place you want to live, same thing. Take the idea of that experience and bring it to the present moment and embody it, own it, express it. Feel into what it feels like. Same thing true for the relationship. It isn't about, well, I'm going to be in love in five, you know, I'm looking forward to love soon in the future, something like that. No. Bring that feeling in the present moment now. When you bring that present moment now of that future intention, it gives it power. And by so doing, and now let me say it this way, it's quite likely you're actually visioning for the future unintentionally. And maybe you're holding a bad vision for the future, that's going to manifest too. This is the problem with having mind and um, a brain to better think things out. So it's intentionally focusing on the positive of what you want to create. You can create the reality of what you want in a relationship the same way. You have a vision of what it's going to feel like. You have an idea of what your partner's going to look like. You may not be like identifying the person by name because you may not be with them yet, so you want to give them space for that. But imagining the person you're with, the feeling of being with them especially, more than the sight, the feeling energy of being with them in the present moment. Bring that present now so you can mark up what you want to create. This is a way of visioning your life ahead for things you want to have happen. Career, relationship, location, travel, any of these things. You can do the same thing for that too. This is a, a very powerful tool because it's actually creating your reality before you get there. And it requires you being present in the present moment. This is this is the challenge. I'm, actually, I need to do a talk tomorrow about um, how you can heal the past in the present moment too because that's a piece I didn't talk about yet. So tomorrow I'll be about talking about the past. I was so much I want to jump about that, but it was getting in the way. So I'd let, say, let's put that on tomorrow. So um, <laughs> to be succinct about this, your opportunity, your invitation, your um, choice, is to get clear about what you want to create and have happen for you in the future. Now, a PS on this is that what you're going to create in the future may or may not be exactly what you asked for, especially if you involve an understanding that you don't have control over everything, the fact you're inviting spirit to be um, your co-pilot, so to speak. When you understand that you can bring that un the energy entity present with what you're doing, 90% of the time what you're going to create is going to be even better than you planned. So know that what you're creating in the future isn't locked in. It isn't um, limited by your view. But start with that anyway, because if you start with that and you declare to the universe, to spirit, whatever that is, saying, you know, I, I trust the universe to guide me better than I can do myself. Um, this is something better. This is something greater. Some, this is something better for the greater good, or this is something better for the highest con of all concerned. There's so many phrases I know from all these teachings I've been through. Whatever works for you that is a framing that says, okay, this is what I want to have happen, and I'm open to something better. This or better is always a good focus because the universe will happily surprise you with better than you expected. 
this is something you can do on your own definitely it's something you can create but I, I, I do have a um, an array of experience a breadth of experience after being in this journey for over 30 years of studying this stuff I kind of know some things that might help you so play with this on your own certainly but I do recommend if you're interested to reach out to me for support two things I'm going to let you know about two things three things two things just checking what I was going to present I did mention my, my um, Attract the Man You Want program for ladies. I'll put that in the link so you can check it out for yourself. Ladies, if you want to sign up and get into it, you can. This piece is in there. Um, secondly, if you want to do some deeper work and you already get some personal support one-on-one -on -one with me, I am opening up a few spots from now through January. Um, we definitely can go longer. But start up for a month if you want to do some initial work together to see where you want to go and how you want to create your new reality. This is, this is something that's been brewing me for a while and because it is the holidays, I'm offering it out now because it's a time to really get invested in good stuff. And if you want to transform your experience for next year, for 2020, it's a good time to talk. So I'll put a link in the comments for a chat with me. So again, attract the man you want to be in there for the ladies who want to get started on amazing relationship planning and attracting and to reach out for a conversation with me. That'll be in the comments as well. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to talk about how the past can be healed in the present too because... If you're dealing with the future, you want to still want to deal with your past and have it really work together. This is potent stuff and you know how to use it. It's kind of, um, I won't say it's alchemy, but it's certainly potent in terms of the quantum world we play in. But the reality is life happens in the moment. It, I, I was going to say, is that a... I was thinking that was a quote from a movie. No, it's a misquote from a movie, sorry. I was... <laughs> I was thinking of a movie totally out of the blue. Okay, let that go. Um, <laughs> it's a Friday. What can I say? Life's been a little strange this week. Um, so, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, why not? <laughs> this is my daily Facebook Live. I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. This is number nine. This is 918. Uh, so, a lot of these talks are out there. You can find the replays in a couple of places. And if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I highly recommend you check them out. First of all, on my personal page, excuse me, my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby to author, you can watch the replays of my broadcast right there. Um, I've noticed that Facebook's getting really annoying by not showing all of them there, but you start with those at least for the last maybe 50 or 100 available there, which is really, a pet, it's actually a pet peeve of mine. Um, and by the way, I do repost um, because of Facebook's memories or history, mem mem memories, I do post from last year and the year before because they're showing up in my feed, so I can show them to you there. But if you want to watch all of them and sort through the ones you want to look th look for, I highly recommend you check out my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. Please subscribe. There's a playlist on there. You can subscribe to my channel, and there's a playlist which is Messages from the Masculine, where all of my talks live from the newest to oldest, and you can search by keywords and whatever you want to find to find the one that speaks to you. I know there's content out that'll help you. 918 talk, talks, keep you busy. Um, so with that, I thank you for watching. I will put the links in the comments after I sign off so you can check them out. I invite you to get started on creating a reality of what you wanna have by starting in the present moment. But remember to be present in the present moment because it's the only one you got. It's the only one there is. So um, yeah, I'm going a bit more spiritual today. But I feel that's what's coming up towards the end of the year. Maybe there's some shifting directions, I'm not sure yet, but I'm trusting what's coming through. I invite you to join me tomorrow, same time, same channel, 5 p.m. Um, and I think that's about it. If you have any questions, comments about this, please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off. If you want to share it with anybody, you can do that, of course, as well. But I do invite you to check out what I'm offering because it will help you. That's one of my intention with these talks are, is to also help you have more, life, more love, more joy, more celebration in your life. So with that, I think I've been done. I appreciate you being with me as always. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And as always, please... Take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.